Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing an unboxing from The Good and the Beautiful. If you are new here, hello, my name is Sarah. I'm a homeschooling mom to five. My kids' ages are 14 all the way down to five. And let's just jump right into this. Before I share what I got in the box, I did wanna say, I did get a couple of the books for the summer reading program and um, if you don't know, at the beginning of every summer, they give away free books. And like, and then you usually only have to pay for the shipping. And what your little package will come with is a book, depending on the grade level of your child, you get to go and pick. They, get, they usually have these little cute things. They come with stickers and bookmarks. It's just to encourage your children to read. It comes with this little pamphlet. Uh, so I got four of them. And then it also comes with a book. So, I the first book I got was um, a level one, or yeah, level one A. Usually you can look on their spines right here and they tell you what level it is. So this one is a new series actually. And this one is a dog named Sniff. So this is kind of like what the inside of it looks like it's for uh, like first grade-ish level, kindergarten, first grade. So it's really pretty cute. So there's that. The next one I got is a level 2B. And this one is this one is also in a series. This one is called The Little Glass Lake and it's ducks. So I'm pretty sure each one, I'm gonna try and see if they have it in the back sometimes. Oh yeah, okay, so it's they're all in the little glass lake series and the next one would that you would read would be turtles um so each of them are based on a different animal i love this you guys i love this my daughter has dyslexia so i'm hoping that she will be able to start reading books like this although all these words even though they're bigger it still overwhelms her so the next book I got is a level 3b and this one is in the Badger Hills farm series and this is book one and this is called the secret door so this here's a little look inside this one a little bit smaller font there are a little bit of pictures sprinkled throughout the book but not very many and then it will show you Usually at the end of their books, they have a picture of like the next book, which I like. So if you end up liking this, then you can go on to the next book. So the last book that I got is a level six and this is book one. I don't know if the series is called Lantern Lane, but the book is called Lantern Lane. Um, this is what the font looks like, much smaller because it is a level six. So anyway, I'm super excited to get my hands on a couple of these new Good and the Beautiful books. Now, let's jump into the unboxing. Okay, so, I got, they were having a book sale, and you could get, I don't know if they're still doing this or how long they're doing it for, uh, or if it will still be going up by the time this video goes up, but, they were doing if you buy five books then you get like free shipping and i'm all about free shipping so i'm like i would rather pay the money in books than in shipping so just give me some books so the first book that i got is this one is a level 1b and it's called the lost key of pex cove and i don't know i just like to have a bunch of little readers on hand because my younger ones are starting to read now so I just want to have to have I just want to have a little library full of like good and beautiful books for them to read, and I like that. So the font is smaller in these ones, but there's not as many on the page. So I like that it's not overwhelming, especially. Um, I one of my children ha definitely has dyslexia. I got her tested, and she does. And then I have, I think. A couple of my other ones might as well so anyway I ha so it's nice when there's like just a little bit of sentences when there's just a few sentences on the page I just feel like that being able to read that kind of stuff over and over helps their fluency then I got they came out with these little readers um, right here we have my first Africa reader and then my first 
nature reader. So they have three books in this collection here. Um, and these I just thought would be uh, fun to encourage reading because my kids are very visual and look at how beautiful these are. And they have very little text on the page. So this is great for my early readers. And I love it that it has this little ribbon because look how thick, you know, this is a thicker book for younger readers, which I like. I think that's cool that they do this. It's like their own little chapter book. The cool thing about this book is that if you open up to the table of contents, it will actually tell you some of the things that you are working on, like the phonics stuff you're working on. Uh, for instance, the first three stories are gonna be working on CBC words. And then when you get to story four, it's sight words group one. So this does correlate with the good and the beautiful kindergarten level. If you're doing the kindergarten level, this will go great with it. So for instance, it said group one sight words. So you would open up your kindergarten little booster cards here. And I just printed this off online. I love that The Good and the Beautiful has free online resources because um, it's nice. So, it, you know, even if I'm just getting these readers, then I can just use these booster cards uh, to help my children, you know, maybe, because every curriculum is different. I'm not using this for my children, but if I wanted you know, my um, other kids to read out of this and some of the words they don't know yet, I can pull out this booster card and we could just go to, um, let's see, sight words, group, uh, group one sight words. And then you would just practice these and then you would be able to read that first or that fourth story. So you could read one through four. Um, so I really like that, it's awesome. And like I said, short sweet really beautiful photos in it engaging love it so excited about that and then also like i showed you the my first nature reader this one also correlates with the kindergarten level and i'm pretty sure it will tell you the same thing i don't think oh no this one does have a ribbon too so just like the other one, it also tells you which words to use. So between these books for the kindergarten level and the little mini readers that it comes with, there are tons of options for your kids to be able to get some reading practice in. I'm really excited about this. Um, I did print this out a while ago because I was thinking about using it. Um, but now that I have these, I actually might uh, start incorporating this alongside of what I am doing with my younger kids. And then they can read out of these readers as well. The next book that I got is my second nature reader. And like I said, they all come with, I love that they come with the ribbons, you guys. I love that. So, you know, the, it can hold their spot. Where is it? I can see it right here. But is it right here yeah right here so it comes with a ribbon and this one is level one okay so this one's level one it correlates with the good and the beautiful's level one booster cards so this one I printed off as well but I just didn't laminate this one so again, you can pull up the table of contents and you can see what each story is gonna have in it. I love that. I really love, love, love. They did this with their old readers too and they told you on the back of um, the readers or the boxes what phonic sounds were used in it and I really appreciate that because when you're trying to teach a child to read sometimes you can go and get those early readers and then your kids come across words they don't know so anyway I got this one for her I'm really excited um let's see again we have beautiful pictures very short sentences and then the last book that I got is the my third uh, nature reader. So this is a level two and this corresponds with the level two, uh, with the good and the beautiful level two. And oh my gosh, you guys, I just love this. This one is 
um, also going to be corresponding with the booster cards for level two. Um, so again, here, look at, it looks like in the beginning, I thought I saw a smaller word. So look at this one is gonna have smaller font and then more sentences on the page. And then I'm sure as you gradually get back here, it's gonna have more text towards the end. Look at, see, like that is more text. This is so beautiful. I love these, I'm so excited to have these. Okay, so those were all the books. Now, I'm super excited about this. I went back and forth whether I wanna get this or not <laughs> because you guys, I'm just crazy, okay? I've picked out like quite a few things and I'm just trying to decide what I wanna use and how I wanna use it. But I got really excited when they came out with their little hearts and hands and I almost wanted to get them all, um, but I didn't. I ended up picking up, um, the, oh, this is the science for little hearts and hands. And this one is uh, wind and waves. So it comes with this parent guide and I think this is kind of like a consumable because it's got like games in here. It's got cutouts you can cut out, which this paper is so nice and high quality that I'm like, I don't really want to cut this. I might photocopy it. <laughs> like I saw in one of these, there you build like a rocket and you cut the rocket out from this. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to cut that out. I'll have to see if I got the PDF too. Like, I don't know if they give you the PDF when you buy this or not. But anyway, it's really um, basic. They have, they have audio narration too. I don't know, you guys, this just looks so beautiful. They have games and that's what the teacher's guide looks like. It also comes with uh, the big book of science stories. Now, obviously, like I said, this one is Wind and Waves, and this is gorgeous, you guys. I think it's just told like a big read aloud story, which I really appreciate, especially for the younger years. It's like, no one wants to sit and listen to a boring textbook. I am all about stuff like this, okay? I like to learn me, my kids and I like to learn through books and literature, so I am really excited for this. That's why I was like, I gotta try this out. It looks so pretty. And then the last thing that I got is Science for Little Hearts and Hands, the Sparks and Stars. This one is a new release. I think the Wind and Wave one is too, but I think this is their newest release. I don't know, okay? Um, anyway, so. This is what the parent guide looks like. So beautiful. That's why I'm like, I don't want to cut this out. Like, I don't want to cut these pieces out. Here's one. Oh, these ones are perforated, so you just pop them out. Game pieces. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to cut this beautiful book. Well, yes, I will. But anyway, so that's really pretty. And then here is the big book of science stories for Sparks and Stars. Again. So beautiful. And I like this because I can do this however I want. I think on the website it said if you do one a week, if you do one lesson a week, you will get through this whole curriculum. But if you do two lessons a week, you can get through two of, like I could get through both of these or something like that. I'm pretty sure I read, which I like that. I love that gentle approach. I think this will be so good for my younger ones. Um, so yeah, that is my haul from the good and the beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. All right guys, have a blessed day.